So let's take it, uh, break it down, get the crawler, attach the encoder, put it on a magnetic surface and you can see if we've aligned everything properly. And then finally, we're gonna take you through our forever probe with the irrigation port and our new adapter, which will set that in here. And you'll be able to do tank inspections at the cardinal points, pull it up by a rope because it's manual. And in the future, you'll see what we can do with the automated robotic crawlers or the automated driving wheels as well on the little controllers. Stick around. Okay, so we've got the low profile crawler. It's got spring loaded here. And we want to attach it onto here so we can keep the wheels in line and moving. What can be a challenge is to get the orientation of this correct. So it can step up onto here properly. Make sure it's away. Got enough clearance. It's not pushed up too tight. And so once the wheels go down on the magnetic bench, that the wheels all here are in the same direction. Because once you attach it, what can happen is, because this is uh, a round mount, uh, you can get some distortion on, on these. And the wheels may also be off on slight alignment. So while you're trying to push it straight, why are you trying to push it straight? This wheel is not quite getting, it might be mounted um, and moving in the same direction, but the wheel won't be encoding the data as accurately as what it could. And when you go back to find it, if you're doing uh, some uh, better, further inspections in that area, you, you're just a little bit off from your datum points. So if you can line everything up properly, you're on a winner. So we'll keep everything loose. Tighten that down there. Keep this loose. Keep that to here. So we keep this loose and we keep this loose so that we can put that down. Okay, so we've got the attachments here, they are loose, everything is free, and you can see how this cable um, can drag. And so we want to keep the encoder off the ground and we just want to make sure it's engaged here. But when we turn it this way, what we also want to make sure is make sure that the spring is engaged. So when the, um, when the magnetic wheels are down, this spring is under tension. So when we tighten up uh, all the screws, we want to make sure that this arm is actually leaned a bit further down so it engages the spring. Let me show you what I mean. So we want to make sure. We've got the magnetic wheels on the core with the angle, and we've got this encoder under spring tension. Let's just bring this down there and we'll see what happens here. Okay, so you may have seen from us in the past that we've got this, um, this uh, forever probe, this 5 megahertz twin crystal probe. 
uh, previously had a wear face membrane on it, but we've gone and upgraded it, put a collar on it, put a wear face on it that you can put in um, oil cut or coupland inside this collar. And as you squeeze it and compress it all together and that cavity starts filling up with pressure, we've actually put in a little weep hole. So if you keep that weep hole facing uh, skyward, um, you'll actually, all the bubbles that compress inside this little chamber in here will actually get pushed outside that weep hole. Once you've got enough tension on the thread, you can now actually, um, if you're doing manual scanning, you can actually attach your own uh, hydraulic, uh, your own irrigation, sorry, your own irrigation into these, into this probe like this, or you can utilize um, this particular setup we've got in the crawler. So or what we're putting in the crawlers, uh, the palm scanners now is integrated um, irrigation and it sends it down into the yoke and comes out onto the work surface underneath there. So in whatever direction you're scanning, you know you're going to get that uh, low pressure uh, stream of, of water, soapy water, whatever you're putting through the irrigation channel onto the work surface underneath the probe face. In this instance, we've got the irrigation integrated into the collar, and we've also got these mounts, which will go on here, just bring here, and they fit very nicely. Right. And so under the sprint pressure of these yokes, we can now keep make sure that there's consistent pressure onto the probe. Looks like if we attach the cables into this. They sit on the crawler. Yeah, let's just move that over there. This particular cable comes in here, and because we've got thousands of these straps you get them in the kits we can keep everything tidied and bundled up and out of the way so this uh, UT probe irrigation and the encoder there all ready to go and start doing your encoded B scan all right thank you very much we'll see you around